Hey guys, it's the Feather Bubble, and as you've been using Mod API, you're going to come across a point where the forest updates and you're going to run Mod API. You'll see something a little bit like this. <laughs> I could not detect game version. Now, if it's been a while, you might be able to just update it with, from the server. They'll, you know, they'll fix it. Soul Drinker's on it. He's usually pretty quick, 24 hours. But you might not want to wait. So go ahead into logs, and then double click on mod API, the one without a number at the end. Now, in here, you're going to be looking for something about game checksum. So neither the game and modded checksum, nor the game and the backup checksum did match. You're going to want to scroll to the right and make sure you copy and paste that long string. Now go ahead and exit out of here. Go back to the main directory. Go to configs, games, the forest. Then right click versions, open with notepad or whatever text editor you want. Scroll down to the bottom, and I would recommend pasting at the very bottom at the end of everything what you've copied. Uh, you can technically throw it right inside the checksum, but I like to keep a, kind of like a record just for fun of the other checksums. Once you've pasted it, select the bit like I have here where it goes version ID and then close version. You don't want anything else. After you copied it, go ahead and paste it. Change the inside ID part to whatever update it is. So for example, I'm just repairing it to the current version of the forest as I've recorded this. Cut what you have down below and paste it inside. So now the checksum matches the version ID. Close that, but save of course. Now when you go back and you run mod API, boom, no errors. Bear in mind that if there is any issues between Mod API and the forest introduced with a new update, that will have to be fixed by Soul Drinker. This just forces Mod API to accept the new version. It's a pretty robust program and I've only had one issue before and it was fixed pretty quickly. If you go to the end of settings, you can also make sure those are checked and it will grab these checksums as Soul Drinker has updated them and accepted it. So you can uh, use mod API in a general sense without doing this if you didn't use it right after an update. But this way you don't have to wait and you can just do it yourself if you want. Hopefully that's helpful for the people looking to force mod API to work with a new update. And I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you for watching.